All right, guys, welcome in to a Squad Ops One Life event. Today we have Operation Wicked Bridges. Wicked Bridges, we're on this layer. You never see this layer. Do you play this layer? And when's the last time I played this layer? Where'd you get the music from? I'll go over that in just a second. Um, yeah, so where do we get this layer? Who plays this layer? Do you play this layer? Do you play this layer? I don't know. Uh, Wicked Bridges is a one life operation we're playing today. Uh, here is the gist. British forces are sort of reinforcing, defending a certain bridge that they're using for operations in this area. INS forces are mobilizing to try to strike them. The idea is that the further away the bridge is, the more supplies that are needed to stockpile at that location. British forces have a standing alert team that's ready to respond to any trouble in the valley. The issue is, obviously, we're supposed to assume that they're not um, always going to be standing patrol or standing alert ready for, you know, an action. Sometimes they go out on patrol. The British force will be departing their main and assuming one of these patrols somewhere southwest, southeast of the, uh, the bridges. However, during that time, the INS will begin their assault on the bridge and the patrol will get called back in. So it's sort of like a double offensive going on. We have a defending team British being attacked by INS who are being pursued by British. That's how generally this is going to go down. There are mobility restrictions for whichever bridge that British choose to defend. And they will be, uh, there will be a limitation for where the patrol has to be sort of to start out at. Um, but they could be moving wherever. Um, the limitation generally puts them about a click away from the bridge, probably more. However, you can see on the map here, the INS starts relatively close to the bridges. We should have contact pretty quickly, depending on how bad, uh, how much uh, INS blow their cover. British forces will have a squad at the bridges. They get to reinforce them. They get to reinforce the bridges before they get there. There's also additional vehicles coming through. Um, I think this variant of Wicked Bridges is actually stronger on vehicles than anything else before. So we're going to be seeing a lot of vehicles, a lot of RPGs coming through. Um, I believe British have access to, depending on which bridge they choose, uh, Bulldog as well as several, uh, a couple of um, extra, depending on the bridge, uh, 50 cal um, mine resistant vehicles. I forget what the British call theirs. I actually have it written down. LPBV, yeah, LPBV, there's open, there's 50 cal open top variants. If uh, British choose A or B, they get a Bulldog if they're at A. And regardless, there's a transport truck and a lot, and two Logi trucks in the reinforcement in the patrol wave. So that's the second wave of, um, the assault here on Wicked Bridges. All right, so let's take a look, see, at our map. We have uh, Radio Free Camdash, if I could spell. We'll just go ahead and get comms. Uh, we have Brits defending Bridge A. At Echo 4 3 6, Fox 4 1 7, probably more likely. We have, uh, we are going to be watching INS because we're going to be watching the main assault. You can see here the red lines. Red lines are the mobility box for British. And we have INS spawning. Up at Charlie 335? No, INS... Wait, what? Who are these people? 
Okay, Fulcrum is starting up here at Charlie 334. There is an INS start position um, on the northwest side. And I think I just saw all the squad leads despawn. And then here we go. Looks like some more squad leads are spawned here at uh, Golf 6-7. That's another start point. We're gonna go ahead and go to golf six. Two guys open for uh, two kids if we got any. Uh, yeah, we British main is here, but they'll both they'll probably be in patrol somewhere around here. Uh, the intent behind the intent behind getting them to back off and take this patrol is obviously to sort of because in the old version of this mission they always started here in Maine. The British patrol force always started in Maine. Oh, sorry, the alert force. The idea is that aside from to mix it up from just coming in from this direction. Why is my okay? I was just not focused in uh, uh, to get them to not always approach from the southwest. Give them this huge area to play with as a potential start zone for the British attack. Uh, Brits won't be able to actually come in and defend the bridge until they get attacked so well, there's timing to go along with that certain bridges have certain times t reaction times it's all relative in the chat and i'll get to them after this brief but we're going to listen into the ins brief here it should be starting pretty shortly i think decorum wants to decorum is just making sure his guys are organized Operation Wicked Bridges. And here we go. We have, we have some people who are out there in the corner. All right, welcome to Wicked Bridges. We're going to be uh, assaulting the British today. They have come into our lands and they have decided that they wanted to create a logistics base and fortify the, their logistics uh, travels. This is totally unacceptable to all of us and we must destroy their fortifications on the bridge. We know that one of the three bridges marked with mine markers are uh, the location of the enemies. We will find them and we will destroy them. We also know that the British have some sort of additional reinforcements on the, uh, on the way. They, if they see where we are, they will be able to quickly identify what's going on. So, what you may see is that Fulcrum Squad, Squad 5, has spawned to our far northwest. They'll be acting as a scouting squad for the rest of our platoon. They are going to move in and identify the location of the British, uh, British stronghold, and then we will move in to swiftly destroy them. Please note that speed is of the essence. If, we are, if at any time you are slow, you get held up, utilize smokes or grenades to push forward, you will be shot in the back if you go too slow. We will be expecting enemy reinforcements coming in from the south or the east. So, what we will be doing is from here, your squads will be broken up and we will uh, move to the transport helicopter mark, shown in Foxtrot 6-8. Uh, from that location, we are going to uh, await confirmation of the location of the enemy uh, positions. If we, depending on their location, we will then mar uh, fast march directly in and take the position. After taking the position with uh, surprise and violence of action, we will then uh, defend against the enemy attackers until they have all been slaughtered and removed from our lands. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, SLs break them out for life. All right, there we go. Inus. Yeah, they don't get hats. They get six bombers, six lats. Unlimited raiders, so all the PPSHs are out there. 
possibly, and we're live. British, uh, <coughs> sorry, INS forces at Maine are moving out. Squad five also. Just waiting for contact to be called. So you can see the lay of the land here. There's a little bit of an installation. There's a natural um, map layer little base right here. That's kind of rough. And there's also this little hill. So hopefully INS will just hold at this hill before peeking their eyes over. Because once they peek over the hill, British forces could spot them. And you can see the British forces here in red. Have positioned themselves. Paladin is a squad leader. He's running out by himself. Up the hill. All right, reaction squads, go ahead and pull Leave Paladin as a squad lead. Yeah, you can see he's got a radio. And he's basically going to camp for contact. Uh, we're going to look at his position real quick. He's running away. Has he already spotted someone? He has a shovel out. So I'm assuming... He's not thinking, he's just running. But you never know, they could have called contact already. And it looks like we're seeing British line up on the southwest side of the uh, exclusion zone. Fulcrum has already been, has already spotted British and they're on bridge A. And of course, the upper ground here, the second squad north was building a defensive position. You can see Fulcrum and Spectre. Spectre with the MMG. And shots fired. Oh, that was a PPSH. That was an ND. Inus have, maybe they're engaging already. That was an MG3. HMG bunker engaging forces already. We're turning fire on the tracers probably. Hold on, let me just cut the game audio down just a touch more. There we go. I noticed, I noticed it was in my limiter, so... RPGs coming out. Trying to return fire on that bunker. Lima's got himself an RPG. They know the bunker's there. Simply Shea gets deleted inside of his sandbag. And I believe that's probably the first kill. More RPGs. Let's take a look at another position on the uh, INS line. INS need to step up this assault. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening. A little hop here and down the hill to a nice little British forces are starting to their approach. You can see command all the way down southwest, north side of the river. I think. Okay, no. There were INS elements on the west side, and they've pulled back north. They're going to circle back around, rejoin their squad lead. Reloading. Alright, how are you doing in ammo, Rhett? Alright, 
Contact halfway through. Let's Right of this, looking for people to shoot. He's got his MG3. MG3 is pretty good. Right now, three kills INS for zero on British. British unable to connect right now. There's still an element flanking around the east side. And they are pretty much online right now. Super Spitfire just got hit, and I don't think they were prepared for this. Oh no, Fader. You got killed already? Oh, bummer. Also, Zima on the YouTube stream. Nice. It's a lot of INS behind this uh, rock. Forces. Kuba, Last Reaver, and Chikazuki are now engaging British reinforcements. Kuba trying to shoot the gunner out of the 50 cal. Doesn't succeed. That's the uh, Bulldog. Last Reaver's dead. Lagar runs up on him. No mines here on this road. So the vehicles are going to have a nice easy time until an RPG turns around and shoots them in the face. Bulldogs, if you're not familiar. Bulldogs are pretty strong. However, Bulldogs are extremely vulnerable to being having their gunner shot out. been hit. Kuba goes down. It's just uh, J Chikazuki with eyes on this element. And the Bulldog is providing suppressing fire. However, INS are overrunning the bridge right now. Two squads down. The north side guys are completely deleted for British forces. INS have a pretty strong victory here. However, there are some British forces still living here. Dendrick and Cloud. Deckram's running up on them. He just ran past them. Deckram's commanding. Deckram just walked past. He gets shot in the back. Dendrick. Copy. I'm going to head on the east side. INS command is down. He ran past an area. He thought it was clear, and it was not clear. Thyness command down this early on. It's going to be down to squad leads to pull together here, but no command comms yet. And Scottish just got shot at. Cloud is trying to shoot at someone. Steve returns fire with the MG3 and deletes Cloud. Dentric is just going to hide. Um, there, there was still contact across the bridge on the Lib healing Stevo. Very C4. good. Yeah, yeah, British yeah, forces yeah, are yeah, being yeah. engaged. Fulcrum is now blocking the forces over here. Kimji eats a big, huge chunk of frag, and I don't know if he's going to survive. Kimchi's got a bandage. No, he doesn't survive. He bleeds out. So we got a uh, 50 cal open top guy. RPG. Where was that shot at? We got charges on the fob on the bridge. 
Fulcrum, the squad leaf for this element, is pinned. He really can't move anywhere. And there's another vehicle working around over here. Fulcrum's going to go ahead and engage. Taking shots at Gimli Tron. Gimli prones. Fulcrum kills Gimli, though. He's looking for more targets. British have lost the objective, but they still have plenty of people to make up for it. 10 kills Brits, 21 kills INS. The patrol force quickly uh, getting cut down. Fulcrum trying to shoot, sort of press Bartok there. I don't think any of his shots hit. And there we go, the shared intelligence. INS forces have taken control of the bridge. And Fulcrum trying to make a beeline to get back to friendly lines. Could get spotted here as he runs away. That's amazing. Fulcrum made it. That's amazing. Accurate, homie. 210 degrees. Find some good cover. Blaze assault in the hill. This is fine. We're hardening up in the village, but we have contact. We're right behind us. Oh, man, I'm hit. I got there. Uh, yeah, I'm with the Willis. They are sided in on me. 200. Revy and Londarts are approaching, and here comes the bull. Or here comes one of the 50 cows perforating a building. Yeah, don't even peek out. Blondarts is completely on the opposite wall of Bison here, so he's probably hearing him through the wall. Patrick and Lundarts trade bullet, or oh, sorry, Bison and Lundarts trade bullets here. Bison's gonna run away. Wait, what is he doing? Nice role play there, Bison. <laughs> uh, and Patrick dies too, so it's just Fulcrum in these building. However, the radio is going down on the bridge. So it's ticking away. Head of defending the bridge, looking for contacts. I guess he's looking for this bulldog come up the road. Inus in a pretty strong position here. They have a squad in reserve northeast. Plus the hilltop guys to their northwest. Still pretty whole with a lat. The south story where Inus came from is kind of open. Freestalker in Uptown, pretty close to British forces here in the south. And I think they're trying to make their way back down the hill. Yeah. British forces aren't following, Ooh, although they nice. definitely hear. Oh, the bulldog's gonna take a peek over the hill. They definitely saw me. Here we go. The bulldog has eyes over the hilltop now. Anything that moves is gonna get popped. I think Scope is probably shooting at where Freestalker and Uptown were. Update on kills, 24 for INS, 14 for Brits. Brits still have all three of their vehicles up and operational. What look at Fulcrum C. He can only see out this window. His gun barrel is sticking out, although no one is looking at him right now. Uptown and Freestalker, looks like they're running back. Maybe they're trying to go back up the hill? He had these two vehicles. We got Fulcrum here. Echo 4. 
Ines, <laughs> Ines have taken over the MG? Bolgrim gets pinged as he tries to shoot Bartok out of the gun, and Bartok decides he doesn't want any of that. Lots of shots here, as looks like we're trading... I wonder what we're shooting at now. They're shooting up the hill. Well, the bulldog has picked up the the lone infantryman, or the two of them, and they're repositioning around this uh, map native uh, firebase right here. Pretty strong start for INS, and they still have the advantage. The Bulldog is going to come straight down this road, though. RPGs. RPGs hit the Bulldog in the front. And if it keeps going, it's going to get hit in the back. And a Bulldog parks. Viper is an AR. RPG misses at close range. That was probably Zaki. More confusion here. And I think Dorf is on the uh, HMG and then now putting rounds. Yep, Dorf is trying to sight rounds into the Bulldog here. And I think it may have gone out of its traversal. Dorf's looking for it. I don't think he sees it. Or it could be past his uh, firing arc. Right, Bulldog has taken a minimal damage. Oh, they lost a gunner. They must have lost two gunners. One from the RPG hit, and the second one just then. British force is in pretty rough shape. Here we go again. Bulldog is trying to find a position to engage INS forces, and he's not going to be able to see anything. Meanwhile, British forces in the north, we're going to go up there. British forces in the north are charging the hill, where INS are holding out. Silent has his... Uh, they are. He's looking for targets. Oh, here comes a Vic. They're moving Vic's into firing range. Flame Mage looking for targets. He gets shot out. I think that was Silent. No, it wasn't Silent. Who was it? I don't see a gunner. I don't know who shot. It sounded like it was my right ear. Yeah. May have been, may have been silent very quickly, but quickly, but Don't even worry about it. If it no, it wasn't a AK okay. or something. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, he got deleted. One shot, one kill from Londarts. Phoenix, no gunner. I think he sees biker. <laughs> oh man. Uh, what is biker gonna do? Don Darts is looking for targets. Chicken must be out of RPGs because he's not getting his. He doesn't have AT out. Hey Dorf, we have a team here from Squad. squad Don Darts is shooting. He hit Biker. Uh, Phoenix just ran him over. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> Obviously Phoenix saw Biker in the bush there. Londarts is dead though. Give his position away for the kill. Pretty rough, and here comes the other uh, vehicle. How far are we in now? Not that long in, actually, but uh, we're getting close to the end. 32 kills for INS. First round ending pretty quickly. The British assault was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, and contact was really quick. Within 10 minutes, we had contact in the round here. Probably within five minutes. Uh, it's pretty, pretty action-packed, but right now British are stalled out in the north. The Bulldog is now down another gunner, and so it's just the driver soloing the Bulldog. Two other vehicles are still up for British in the north, but missing a gunner. So maybe Phoenix is going to play bait, and he just got hit in the side. Blaze Assault is walking up on potential INS position here. Chicken takes a shot and ends him. Oh, Chicken does have AT. He's looking for a shot on Phoenix. Bada bing. Oh no! Wait! Oh no! Uh oh. Oh, I think I just caught the crash. Oh no. Did we just crash? <sighs> oh no. Uh, okay, so just confirmed with the, uh, with the event admin, uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll to round two. Clearly British did not have the momentum to complete the objective. And so, um, we'll be right back. We'll be starting round two as soon as possible. Um, so just bear with us here while we get the server back up and running. Straight south from where we're at, so they wouldn't be able to see us if we're on that middle bridge. And we're live with round two. Okay, we're live, boys. All right. Round two underway. All right, we can see from the markers here what's kind of going down. Looks like we have Engineers breaking off to build elevated positions. We have an HMG up. That Dorfus Manning, Delta 686. And it looks like he's pointed straight up the road here. Meanwhile, INS forces that you can see here in blue. Two squads, one squad per bridge looks like. Plus a reserve element. Command Revy moving with uh, Squad 3 off Guido. And the vehicle element is now coming in on the north road. SPG Techie and two Dishka Techies. Decent little separation there for the rest of the convoy. As you can see, Tentric drifting and drifting it straight off the road. Very good. The patrol. Two trucks. So I'm assuming there's going to be a large element on foot here on the border of the uh, exclusion box. British are restricted from entering. But 
uh, per the rules, British are going to be restricted from entering. Oh Lord, we're actually close to contact here. INS have a over uh, Overwatch position established, and I imagine Blaze has seen some. Blaze has opened up on Spirits Rogue. Spirits got hit, but he dives behind a sandbag. A nice reaver out of position, falls back, and British return fire. And smoke's being thrown here by British forces. That's it, and yep, there's a large infantry force, two squads worth, proceeding north from on the Delta Column. Defensive position here, north side of the river. Lots of grenade traps, although it's definitely exposed to the overhead position. Or the, uh, sorry, the uh, above ground position here. Yeah, if you can, uh, if you can make it there. Keep in mind you're going to be outnumbered down there, so shoot. Okay, I'm really looking for contacts here. And we also have some shots, as looks like another INS element has engaged. Or the Brits have actually shot at, the Brits have a little high ground. Here, Rehab Shark and Shaman both get hit. This is a very nice defensive position here. Raggy returning fire. Is that a frag? It's a bit wishful thinking for a frag throw. Legar's dead already. Oh no. I wonder what these guys are shooting at. I think they're just misinterpreting the British position here on the above ground. On the high ground here. Two squads sweeping west. British. Which means... Swirl going on here. Brit's gonna be swirling west, looks like. Here comes their patrol vehicles. INS gonna slowly approach from the east, the northeast here. The line has uh, stalled in the north for INS. Taking some casualties, but it's still doable. Obviously, it's still early on in the round. RPGs are now landing in the compound. And Blade, ooh, that? Spirits died. I think they're, they're also shooting us from the rocks. Uh, ooh, Batman Pete gets hit by an RPG from his east. And you can see here, INS are occupying this uh, opposite hillside, opposite side of the river valley. Yeah, Lagar, I think you were the first there. Ooh, a TK. British TK, I think. That's not good. Oh, a vehicle kill. Oh man, you gotta be careful. Squad five for all squads. Delta six three five, south side of the river. Contact coming in. That's southwest of three on his side of the river. All right, so Lawn Darts has called out the opposite, uh, very far south. Multiple vehicles. And it looks like uh, Brits have spotted Boogie's element on approach here. Shea gets tagged by Silent. Brits have. And Boogie kills Silent. Big rip. Frag around through the window. What a shot. I think it actually detonated on Silent because. Uh, Either detonated on silent or detonated in the windowsill. By the way, super unfortunate. Dwarf on the HMG is suppressing Boogie's approach here, which is not good. This is the approach that they expect the vehicles to take. Speaking of the vehicles, INS vehicles have dismounted their infantry and they're holding to get called in. This is not going to be good unless they come all the way around this road, hit the vehicles from behind. 
And Brits are pretty strong here. Three for seven, and Brits are in the lead. In the north, Chicken goes down looking for a shot on Ines forces. Ines in the building. It's yep. kind of hard to make that work out. Line fire going out into the smoke here. Ooh, was it a vehicle hit? It might have been a vehicle hit. Kimchi is out, and he has uh, had to bandage. These vehicles are kind of weird. They have like left and right firing fifties. Very weird, but very cool. I like it. Very plucky British here. Kuba and Last Reaver just walk up on the INS position here. As... Or, I guess they were in position and INS have moved forward. Some hits over here, though. Grenade throw. Ooh, that thing bounced. Koopa here is Hunu. Last Reaver gets killed by Gimlitron and Koopa takes out the Hunu. What's going on over here? Are there AP mines? I think there are AP mines here. And Incinerator Clayton's pretty much directly on one. Koopa's still alive in the middle here. It's the most... And he's falling back. He kills Blaze Assault. Line not entirely broken in the north. Doesn't really matter though, because INS Assault is starting to reali be realized on the east. Vehicles engaging at distance here. You see the tracers flying onto Viper, Scottish or Scottish's element here. Let's go over and get a little local listen in on these guys. It's just hilltop to hilltop fighting here. Dentric looking for targets with the Spinox. And INS has suppressed Scottish guys, but it looks like they're really just firing in a different location. The British forces are crawling to try to get around. RPG. I guess Boogie fired at something, but I'm not sure what he fired at. SPG Techie looks like he's going hunting. Uh, Brits are holding their own. 11 to 7 right now. 11 kills for Brits. And the Brits have... Uh, the, there's a big difference here. Brits have a, a nice wide approach. There's an IED, a remote IED here. I don't know if they're going to call it. It would definitely kill Clayton if he blew it up. Is Bartok going to blow it? Bartok should have blown it by now. I think they're just is too busy being suppressed. They're being pushed back. It's kind of a bummer. Still fire being traded. South side of the river. 
Ooh, there goes the IED. Doesn't look like a kill, though. Clayton's still up, and Zaki's still up. And looks like they're gonna circumvent the other mine. Yeah, I'm sending a disc down south to try to wrap around this town, Guido. So you just give me, uh, give me a little bit here. I'm working on it. Copy. You can see the INS position is just four in the town next to the bridge. Alpha's squad split up pretty badly here. Alpha's looking for people to shoot. I wonder if he's... I wonder if he knows Major Reno's in this building. Seems likely. That's fucking What? coming through the rocks. Uh, uh, SPG being fired, I think. You're gonna have to go first, because I've only got him. Gotcha. Oh, okay. okay. I've been I would've been by shooting. Bravo, though. Right. Yep. You sure you weren't hearing our guy shoot? Nah. Is that a building 187? Across the road, you need to... Yeah, CNC and Reno are in these two buildings here, in the foreground and the background, respectively. Reno is peeking. You don't see me as a pretty on, sick position here on this wall. Okay, I'm gonna wait. And you don't see me get shot. Where was that from? Unfortunate. Ooh. The, this machine hugs. What a spot! Might be getting eyes on Hovis here. It's a big flank around. So, Revy just ordered these the northern guys to go north and then wrap south on the western map border. That could be rather dicey, but only works if British move off the western approach. They're gonna see this come. Zaki could definitely see this come. And Liberal Pundit might have his eyes up too. Daedric, the fire team lead here, is gonna be important. But uh, INS are stalling out hard. 14 to 7. British still winning. British also has their bridge intact right now. Grenade thrown. Ooh, he actually uh, got a hit on Boogie there. Not enough to make him bleed, but enough. Oh, I'm, I made it down. I'm gonna go down. Are you serious? Well, I mean, I had to push off in a dumb way. That's fine. Alpha's gonna take on CNC in the building here. Or not. I don't think he knows CNC's above him. CNC is pretty camped out. This is kind of bad. <laughs> Fortifications inside. I think a Revy just got lasered by an MG. Wow. Just got lasered at range by the vehicle. Talk about a force multiplier. The vehicles are getting pulled off. Cloud's gone. Wait, where's the... Dish, where's the SPG techie? I guess it's been blown up. INS have ditched. Oh, there's the SPG techie. Speaking of, he's getting in position. I wonder if he's looking for. Hey, get that rocket pointed 210. See if you can just fire a frag on that one. 
copy. The fire right over the hill. Yeah, fire straight, straight off the end of the hill. That's where they're at. It's gonna hit, try to hit Viper. Likewise, clear. Overshot. And the AR comes straight back through. Wait. What a shot. And he's about southwest. Two, two, two oh, that's interesting. Dentrix making a beeline back for squad two. Oh, nice hit. Ondart's trying to come to terms with what's happening here, and it's not good. 22 kills for Brits. Minus up to nine. And Phoenix and Bartok definitely got spotted because why wouldn't they? It's kind of an easy approach to get spotted from. It was a nice idea, but I don't think Revy quite understood that they were that British had control of this hill. Yo, this is three. We are too strong. Uh, pretty much everyone's dead. Let's, should, we gotta hold here right now. And Hedda is now leading a hunt squad for Bartok and Phoenix. That's gonna end badly for them. By them, I mean Bartok and Phoenix. British still holding with a squad on the point. Major Reno, this machine hugs, still holding position here. I think Alpha died to CNC, or Alpha may have killed CNC, but he may have tried to push another building. Not entirely sure. British vehicles are just like hunting Dentrick. Let's go down here and watch Dentrick get killed, because this is going to happen. Uh, let's see, Dentrick is over here. Vehicles are coming up the road right now. So this is going to be an ambush for all the marbles. To our southwest. That's a uh, Foxhound. Hey, look behind you, look behind you. <laughs> Salty Toast hears them. Oh boy, they're looking yeah. for him. Oh, uh, I, no, it's not. It's a fun. I see it. I, I can only see like two inches of it. They're not in a good position to fire because they're not looking at the road. They would stick out like a sore thumb, though. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Wait, let me get on. Fulcrum's got to turn that vehicle. He turns around. Two kills. Dentric, oh boy. I need to, you need to shoot that out the gunner in the second one. Because I need a reload. I'm uh -oh, reloading right now. Here we go. This is bad news. Salty Toast has to reload. INS are melting everywhere else. Salty Toast is alone! Oh no! And he's alone, so he goes gonna run away. But I think he got the reload in, so he's just gonna reposition. Lucky for Salty Toast, unlucky for Dentric. Look, I guess Dentric disconnected there in the middle of everything. Londards is taking shots at Koopa. Quite a quite a duel here. It's not gonna end well for Londarts, I think. Dentric or Koopa's got the high ground here, and you can barely see him move in the distance. I think Londarts is hiding behind a fallen tree. Is Dwarf still on this HMG? Yes he is. Dwarf is still cutting down any INS that are visible here. 30 kills for Brits. Critical mass achieved. That's the big number. Which means INS are down to at least two maneuvering elements. And that's pretty much it. Salty Toast has dismounted the other one and he's dead. Fisco must... Uh, squad one ended him. 
so no more vehicles for INS. INS now split in two, north and south of the river. Dorf is just taking pot shots at these guys, and Kuba did kill Londarts. It's going pear shaped for INS now. Okay, I'll just take the shot. Yeah, go ahead. I said it was going, I no idea. Kuba's still hunting the element over here. You can see Kuba, for some reason, he has an outline. Oh, this is a uh, weekly reminder to OWI. Please fix outlines in squad. Thanks. No Actually, no, there is only one squad lead. Like, uh, yeah, it's there is only one squad lead alive. Nice. I watch my squad lead die and then see squad 5 also lead die. And it's a good day. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a good uh, day. Ish me, ish me with a, with a positive reinforcement here. A reminder that the INS forces are here to destroy the bridge, and uh, that might happen. Yeah, I'd say three, three fifty. I see some infantry. I'm gonna hit them first. Oh, is pulling out frag. Does he have an idea? Does he see these guys on the hill? Good fucking hit, man. He got directly west. He overshot. You fucking killed him. That was great. Uh, he didn't kill anyone. Guys further west than that. There may be a reattack here. I wonder if he sees Toasty. It's insane. You fucking shot, dude. That was a vehicle above it on the hill. I don't know. Is that ours? <laughs> He's dead. Hovis got zinged. Oh my god. Fuck. Wow, that's unfortunate. Alright, so uh, Ishmi and Kuito. Kutiwa? That is a weird name. I'm not that it's a weird name, I just. I don't know. Double vowel sounds is a very European thing. Is it just me or is it just a very European thing? It's like an Eastern European thing. I feel like one of those should have an accent over top of them. I don't know. I mean, we gotta start. What squad are you from? Two? Yeah, two. And you're the last guy. Yep. All right, we gotta start pushing towards the bridge then. We gotta take these buildings and building by building. Stevo has JCP through a window. These guys are. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? Koopa team kills Scottish. Woof. Uh, Kuito and Ishmi are gonna charge the hill. Oh, uh, he was on top of the rock. Grenade. Oh, shit. Uh, was Ishmi has a Mosin. This is. It's a twist on a word, too. Oh, okay. Jericho is charging the other position. Is Ishmi gonna get a kill here? Cause that would be cool. Hedda kills Kuito and Ishmi is gonna get a kill on Hedda. Oh no. Nope. No he's not. Why was he in the back? Ishmi made noise. Hedda heard him go prone. It's not good. And I think that may be actually it, because the north, the southern forces got killed. Anyone else still up? I don't think so, and I think that's GG. Waiting for the call here from the admin. 38 kills for Brits, only 13 for INS. Not strong enough to defeat the British defense. I don't think there's anyone else still up. Uh... Don't think I missed the GG call either. But I think we're gonna call it. Waiting for the admin to call it. There's GG. Very good defense from British here. And, and uh.
what can you do? It's uh, pretty rough there for, uh, for INS on the attack. Not strong enough to do uh, crazy damage and uh, got stalled out pretty, pretty early on. I think it's fair to say it got stalled out pretty early on for round two there. The idea was strong and we actually saw vehicles out of INS that time, but we ended up not seeing them really contribute to the, uh, to the attack as much as they probably could have. Uh, British defense, super strong, didn't give up the point at all, even though they thinned themselves out on the point a lot. They still had plenty of forces. The infantry sweeping in from the south was able to stay on the high ground, provide fire support. The vehicles were used good. Pretty strong round there from British. All right, uh, that's gonna do it for us here at Squad Ops for this afternoon. Uh, other...